you swim with epilepsy? Now listen, there's not a simple answer to that question. The key is to evaluate the risk of drowning in case of a seizure in the water, individually. Tom here gets minor seizures where he remains conscious. No one should swim alone, but Tom can swim like others. Peter sometimes gets convulsions. If he has a seizure in the water, it's very important that he has a person close by to help him get his head above water as quickly as possible. Peter has someone to help him in the water. And it looks like they're enjoying themselves. The water looks tempting. Oh, my God.